Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cloud Gardener UK. On this channel, I show you how to make the absolute most out of your balconies, terraces, patios, even your window sills, just so that you can absolutely maximize on your growing spaces. In today, I'm gonna to do a little bit of a tidy up of the Cloud Garden. Um, I'm gonna dig up some of my containers, some of my beds, and do a little bit of harvest and see what I come out with. Um, so let's go get straight into it. So I've got my trusted salad bowl here. When you watch these YouTube videos and you see people harvesting, they always have this fancy equipment, these snipey snips, whatever they're called. I just got a pair of scissors. So <laughs> we're gonna use this and I'm gonna harvest some spinach. For the larger leaves, I tend to harvest those when I'm making something like a, a pasta sauce. But for the smaller, younger leaves, I tend to use those in salads. The water in the balcony pond is still crystal clear. This is Mizuno, and when I'm harvesting these leaves, I try to get them as close to the stem of the plant as possible. I do exactly the same with Rocket as well. I'm very careful to harvest two or three leaves per plant. That way the plant is still able to gather enough energy to keep producing leaves for me to continuously harvest. I've had some amazing weather this week. Just look at the growth from my raised bed. I thought I'd include some of this into the harvest. These are some spring onions that I have been growing in water. Check out my Cut and Come Again video and i show you in there how you start this process off. But the great thing with spring onions is you can just chop these leaves off and it will regrow as well. So let me add some of that into my harvest. I harvested some of the younger Swiss chard leaves, but I just could not bring myself to cut that beautiful red one. This is a container of spinach and radishes. I'm gonna be using this container for some of my cut flowers. So this whole container has to go. With the spinach that I can't use, I'll just pop it into a Ziploc bag, squeeze out the air and pop it into the freezer. And that way I've got my own frozen supply of my fresh spinach at my disposal. I get no sunlight over winter, so that radish has been in there for quite some time, but it's still enormous. Look 
Let me just take a minute to appreciate this awesome view. So here's the final bowl. I'm really, really, really proud of what I've managed to harvest today. I mean, we're only at the end of April and, you know, to get this much food, it's just amazing. I guess all that's left to do is make a meal out of this. So I'll see you again in a minute. Now, this is the part of the video where I tell you that this is going to be the most amazing salad in the world. The reality is, is it's not. I mean, if I was to add some cucumbers, peppers, chili, maybe some really nice fresh herbs, it would probably take the salad to the next level. But you see, here's the thing. By the end of summer, I will be growing all of those ingredients. So by the end of summer, this salad is going to become even richer and fuller. So just think, I've managed to grow all of this in my own little outdoor space. So if I can do that, imagine what you can do as well. If this video has inspired you to utilise your outdoor space, give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to show you how to grow absolutely everything that I've got up here on the cloud garden don't have any outside space make sure to check out my indoor herb garden playlist because even if you buy yourself a bag of mixed leaf salad and you start to add in some of your homegrown herbs you will definitely taste the difference hopefully I'll see you again soon bye